I am Courtney Lyons, Development Director for Open the Books, and I'm excited to share a little bit about Open the Books with you today. So first, what is Open the Books? We are a nonpartisan, nonprofit government watchdog organization, and our sole purpose is to track down government spending. We publish the spending online at openthebooks.com to show taxpayers exactly how their tax dollars are being spent. So we believe that transparency is a total game changer and critical to an informed and empowered citizen. So whether Democrat, Republican, or independent, Open the Books holds our elected officials accountable for their tax and spend decisions. So we like to think of ourselves as a public service to all taxpaying Americans. Okay, so how do we track down government spending? We have a team of about 30 auditors and each and every single day they are filing Freedom of Information Act requests FOIAs to government entities all across the country at the federal, state, and municipal levels. So this year in 2022, we will file 50,000 FOIAs. And these FOIAs will yield over 25 million salary and pension records, all federal and all state checkbook vendor spending, now including California and an additional 15,000 municipal government vendor transactions. All of this you can find on our website, openthebooks.com at absolutely no cost to you. So I live in Charlottesville, Virginia. I can go to openthebooks.com and type in my zip code and then pull up what our city and Albemarle County school principals are paid, what our mayor is paid, and things like what our water and sewer authority spends, and so much more. Um, so what else can you find at openthebooks.com? Not only can you search for government spending at openthebooks.com, but we also publish hundreds of investigations in the news every single year on all angles of public policy related to government spending. So I'll give you three quick examples. Uh, the first, no doubt you have heard about the effort to defund the police in major U.S. cities over the past couple of years. Well, we dug in and found that in the city of San Diego, the city called for $4.3 million in cuts to their police overtime budget. And then the city turned around and allocated $2.6 million for 12 full-time officers to protect the mayor and city council during their meetings and then for building security to the city admin building. And then there was an additional $1 million spent by the city of San Diego to set up a commission on police practices, which is a police oversight group. Um, second example, last summer when the U.S. left Afghanistan, open the books. Uh, we were the ones who put the price tag on the cost of our departure and all of the equipment left behind in Afghanistan, as well as all the uh, costs that the U.S. incurred since we entered Afghanistan in the early 2000s. So this was an estimated $83 billion. And last year alone, the U.S. spent $3 billion on military aid to Afghan forces. And then the third example is uh, last spring, the U.S. House held a secret vote on how they would spend your tax dollars. And over 100 Republican congressmen and women voted to join Democrats to bring back earmarks. And Open the Books totaled that of these 100 Republicans, 23 of them were newly elected freshmen who requested $378 million in pet project earmarks from Speaker Pelosi. So those are just three examples of the hundreds of investigations we put out every single year. And our investigations have led to federal subpoenas, indictments, convictions, congressional hearings, and White House policy reform. So Open the Books brings government spending to the forefront of the news cycle and any and all Americans can log on to our website, openthebooks.com. Our audience includes hundreds of thousands of visitors every single month. So teachers, parents, administrators, think tanks, reporters, and so many more American citizens. So our purpose at Open the Books is to reduce waste in government spending. 
America's debt is five times what it was 20 years ago. And so the more transparency we can bring to taxpayers, the more informed they will be. So again, we're just not going to address this massive spending from the top down. It must begin, we believe, with the taxpayers. So we've got to change the culture within our government. And if your elected officials continue to show this lack of respect for your tax dollars, then you, the voter, can address it in the next election by not voting for them. So our motto at Open the Books is it's your money uh, for a reason. So the change has to start with you. I hope that you'll go to our website, openthebooks.com, and sign up to learn more. Thank you.